Hey, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a automatic fission reactor in volts. Okay, so let's start off with what you need. Uh, you'll need a general block, say you can have stone or grass or whatever you want. I'm just using blast proof walling. You'll need a fission reactor, uh, a bit of blast proof glass or or any block you want, but I like to use blast proof glass because in case there's an explosion, it's fine. You'll need nine reactor turbines. You'll need a sticky piston, a bit of redstone, a thermometer, one battery box, or advanced battery box or quantum battery box, and you'll need some wires. I've used as I've used insulated superconductor, but you can use copper wires or silver wires, whatever you want. Okay, to start off with, all you need to do is make a 3x3 three three hole. Okay, now just place your fission reactor in the middle, like so. Then dig too deep there. This is where you'll place your piston. Whoops, I actually forgot one more thing. Uh, I'll mention that later. Okay, now you've got your piston there. Now what you need to do is just make a way for the redstone to get there easily. So, we want something a bit like this. Um, I think I'll replace that bedrock with blast proof falling so the redstone can flow. And here you want to place your thermometer. Now this thermometer, you want to set its warning to uh, about 1500 or less. Oops. Oh, I hit it when this happens. Okay, so 2000 is when your fission reactor will explode. So you want to set it to about 1500. Yeah. Okay. Now from here, you want to take your redstone underground and hook it up with your piston. Now your piston will be holding a control rod and that will stop the fusion reactor if ever the temperature gets too high whoa there's a slime there okay just to stop this getting a bit annoying I'll turn sound to zero music off okay so if we continue uh, now you can just cover this part up um, you might want to use blast proof falling whatever your main block is you're using for this so just to make it look nice and neat doesn't look bad. Okay, now you need a way to actually insert your uranium rods into your fission reactor. So you want to have a path that leads down to your fission reactor. So something a bit like, um, let's see, yeah, something that goes a bit like this. Okay. You'll want a bit, uh, you can't go any underneath, sorry about that, but pretend there's a bit of block walling underneath that. Okay, so basically you'll just walk down to your fission reactor, insert your uranium rods, or whatever you use. Okay, now um, you can cover up this spot. Okay, oh, I think you can actually, yeah, no you can't. That's okay, because we can just do this. Oops. We can change that to blast proof falling. We'll do that. Now insert your redstone there. Okay, now it's fine. Now you can just insert this. Oops, there we go. It's covered. Okay. Now it's completely waterproof because we're going to need water in here. So you'll need to cover this part up. Well, you won't need to cover that part. Okay, so this might actually need to be a bit deeper. So there we go. If you're a normal person, you'll just walk down there. Okay. Now we need to get with the use the blast proof glass. Okay. So you just want to line it around this like so uh, you can you don't have to use uh, blast proof glass like I said 
I'm only using it because in case of an explosion or something terrible like that, we can save our reactor or prevent anything from bad from happening to all our other stuff like um, our missile silos and all that stuff or some sort of complicated wiring you have going on I don't know okay now you will need to insert your control rod this is one this is the thing I've got to show you you'll need a control rod like this you don't need a fission react anymore now insert your control rod here so if you place a lever down here and turn the piston on so the control rod is actually right next to the fission reactor, right right here. Then the fission reactor will turn off. If it's down there, it's turned on. So that's what a control rod does. Now we'll be needing our water. So get a few water buckets. I'm in creative, so I won't need to do that. And just place it along the outside, like so. And then you're, you're safe from any dangerous explosions or bad things that could happen. Okay. Uh, make sure you place it thoroughly the whole way around. Make sure you don't miss a spot. And there we go, that seems fine. Now you've got your 3x3 three three hole ready to ready to work. Okay. Well, actually, if I do this here, you don't actually need this layer, but I like to use it. Now you can just insert some reactor turbines, your nine reactor turbines, actually, that you've got around here. Insert them into this gap. Okay, you will need a wrench for this part, so if you grab a wrench, like that, and right-click on the middle one to make one large turbine. Now, it not only just looks better, it's actually more efficient with, not, with one massive turbine. Okay, now you'll need to connect this turbine to a battery box of some sort. So, you could do what I've done, or what I'm doing. Like this, take it down, and connect it to a normal battery box. Like this. Just remember red is input and black is output in volts. So remember to connect it to the red. Okay, we're almost ready. Now, what you'll want to do is cover this whole thing up. Otherwise, you'll need to, you'll probably uh, die of radiation. If you want to make sure that you don't actually die, you'll need to wear a hazmat suit. And I'll show you that in a second once I've done this. Okay. Now a hazmat suit looks like this. It's basically a radiation suit. You can find out how to craft these by pressing R. Okay, we're almost ready. Got one tiny bit left to do. Uh, okay, as we go down, you can see the piston here. Now you'll need to insert a lever there, or a lever if you're American. So you insert a lever there, you can turn it up or down, which controls if your reactor's on or off. And now all you need to do is get a uranium rod, like so, and put it in your reactor. And soon you should see this turbine start to turn. Well actually you could have a look at the reactor, uh, uh, the thermometer I mean. Oops. And there we go it started turning. Uh, be careful because that is uranium, uh, radioactive grass, radioactive material. Uh, if you want to be careful with this stuff, um, you should cover it up with say blast proof walling because it can spread like that. Okay. So that's about this for this episode. That's how to make a automatic fission reactor. The thermometer will automatically turn it off, it gets too hot. Uh, you can see that it's generating energy. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time where I will be making a fusion reactor. Which is much, much more powerful. Goodbye.